What's happening? What's going on everyone? Today I wanted to make a video talking about the intake Vanos solenoid light that is on in my car. Um, the service engine light soon is illuminated and if we scan it here with my Creator C310 we can pull up the codes. Now I have a couple of codes here. One is a EVAP leak, uh, the DMTL. It might be the pump in this car, but that is a video for another time. The one that I want to show you guys today is the 2A82 uh, intake Vanos code, and that is for the intake Vanos solenoid. Now, while I was doing the oil change last week on this car, when it came time to removing the plastic oil filter cap, I did notice that it was broken inside. When I removed that old filter, the entire basket separated from the cap itself, and there is a spring in there to keep pressure, uh, maybe pressure on one of the internal components that um, keeps the O-rings seated. And it's possible that something in there was broken or missing, by maybe one of the previous owners, or one of the, uh, at least one of the previous mechanics that worked on this car. Once I started driving the car, the check engine light came on almost immediately after the oil change, and I did see that code for the intake Vano solenoid. Now the first thing I did was Google search it, like any good YouTube mechanic would, and I came up with several different threads on E90 Post, Bimmer Post, Bimmer Forums, and several other forums that all pointed to the same direction. The filter housing itself, or the basket, um, being the issue. Someone even went so far as to upload an official BMW technical service bulletin document that specifies that once that basket is missing inadvertently or damaged that it can trigger that intake Vanos code specifically. So before I go down the road of diagnosing the Vanos solenoids on this car and cleaning out the solenoids themselves, I thought why don't I start first by replacing the entire cap itself with a fresh oil filter and that's what I'm going to show you here today in this video. Here is a look at the technical service bulletin posted by BMW. It's dated November 2012 and it includes the 2A82 code for this car. On the second page here we can see where it describes the condition with the oil filter cap insert that may have caused the Vano solenoid light. And to read this entire document I will link this in the description below. For today's repair, I simply need a new oil filter cap. Here is the part number. Of course, I will link this as well in the description. And while we're at it, may as well replace the oil filter and gaskets. Since the last video, I did pick up a specific oil filter tool to remove the cap that is specific to the N52 and N54 motors. I'll just let this filter hang out here for a minute or two and drain all of the residual oil down into the filter housing. Now this is the condition that I'm talking about. You can see how loose this is here. Okay, there we go. As you can see, I was able to easily snap this portion off. In the worst case scenario, if this is broken off and someone puts a oil filter back in just this cap without this piece with the O-ring here, that will definitely cause a condition where there's not enough oil pressure and clean oil is bypassing the filter completely and that's enough to cause um, this fault code to be triggered, according to the technical service bulletin at least. Once again, here is the BMW part number for this replacement piece made in Germany and I will link this in the description below. Let's go ahead and install the filter and a new o-ring on this housing.
and our filter here is also made in Germany, which is nice. Now, should this fail to work, I will be removing the intake solenoid, which is located here in the front of the motor, and I'll take it out and do some bench testing to uh, determine whether or not the solenoid is actually bad. I also will try cleaning it with some carburetor cleaner and reinstalling it, clear the adaptations, and see if that will reset the code. Now we're back inside the car. I'm gonna quickly erase those codes with my scan tool. We'll drive the car, test drive it for a little bit and see if the code comes back on. Just a note about this scan tool. I picked this up on Amazon for about 50 or $60. It's the Creator, I believe it's called, C310 Plus. And this is really um, a lifesaver. Just to have this in your car, you can quickly check everything. Um, that's not really a replacement for um, INPA, INPA, or ISTA, um, ISTA, however you like to pronounce that. Um, the BMW software that is used on a computer, like a laptop, a PC-based laptop, um, which honestly is the reason why I don't have that um, set up yet, because I use all Mac-based products at the moment. Um, but this scan tool works really great. As you can see here, you can get into all of the body modules, um, all of the onboard computers and do everything that you need to do. So let's scroll down here to the DME. This is the engine computer. As you can see, these are the codes that uh, I mentioned before. Uh, the 2A82, the one above that, the DMTL, uh, minor leak that's in the EVAP system. Um, I will be working on that in a future video. So stay tuned for that one if it sounds familiar. Go into erase and the fault codes are erased. So let's go ahead and start the car. Foot on the brake. And um, as you can see my service engine uh, soon light is now gone. And We'll test drive this car around and see how long it takes for that engine light to come back on. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, I'm not sure I'll get that lucky, but I still thought this video was worth making um, to show those of you who may have a filter basket missing or damaged on the oil filter cap. Uh, this may be causing an issue for you. All right, guys, I have fantastic news. Um, I'm pretty shocked myself, but that oil cap was the cause of the um, check engine light on this car. Um, I just put on another 33 miles, and as you can see here, the miles per gallon has gone up significantly since the last time um, we took the car for a ride. And I also know the problem has been resolved because the car has a lot more power. The bottom end um, power, responsiveness, and acceleration has improved. And the lumpy or rough cold start um, idle speed has improved as well. That issue has gone away. Now previously when I had erased the code for the Vano solenoid, the, the code would come right back on within five to eight miles on the trip computer. Now you can see here I've done 33 and no light. We are good to go. So guys, I hope this video has helped somebody out there who is um, experiencing the same issues. And um, I'm pretty shocked myself that, you know, something as minor as that oil cap um, that's regulating the pressure through the oil filter housing is enough to set off the code 
um, for the Vano solenoids. But that just goes to show you how sensitive these cars are in a lot of ways. And um, yeah, overall pretty happy that I got this resolved. As always guys, thank you so much for watching this channel and supporting. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other BMW questions, you can send me an email. Uh, my email is in the description below, or you can just drop a comment here and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.